dear participants of this conference, dear colleague Scheidel, it is a great pleasure for me as the secretary of the Oswald Spengler Society to say some words on the biographical and academic background of this year's Spengler Prize winner, Walter Scheidel, whom we want to honor for his outstanding achievements in, these, in those fields uh, of research to which our society is devoted, world history and the comparative evolution of human societies. Walter Scheidel was born in Vienna in 1966. After studying ancient history and numismatics from 1984 to 1989, he obtained his doctorate at the University of Vienna in 1993 and his habilitation in ancient history at the University of Graz in 1998. During the period of his habilitation, he worked as a research fellow and assistant professor at the University of Vienna, at Darwin College in Cambridge, Stanford University, and the University of Chicago. After completing his habilitation, he moved to the United States in 1999, where his, he first held positions as a visiting professor at Stanford University and the University of Chicago, and then in 2003, took up his current position, first as an associate and since 2004 as a full professor of classics and history at Stanford University, where he also received a Dickerson professorship in the humanities in 2008 and became a Kennedy Grossman fellow in Stanford's human biology program in 2013. Beside his academic employment, Walter Scheidel's CV contains a long list of positions as a visiting scholar, which led him, among others, to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, to the École des Hautes Études en Sciences Sociales in Paris, the University of Innsbruck, Columbia University in New York, the University of Copenhagen, the University of Zurich, New York University and Lund University. He's also a fellow or corresponding member of famous research institutions like the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, the Austrian Academy of Sciences, and the John Simon Guggenheim Memorial Foundation. According to his list of publications, Walter Scheidel is the author of five academic monographs and over 200 journal papers, book chapters, short notes, and reviews. He has also edited or co-edited several handbooks conference volumes and monograph series, and launched an interactive website at, at, on the history of the Roman Empire. His main fields of research comprise the economic, social, and demographic development of the ancient Greek and Roman world, with a strong emphasis on empirical and quantitative methods, and the synchronic and diachronic comparison of civilizations. In the latter context, he became well known to a wider public with his three conference volumes on the, the dynamics of ancient empires, comparative perspectives on ancient world empires, and state power in ancient China and Rome. With his monograph, The Great Leveler, Violence and the History of Inequality from the Stone Age to the 21st Century, and with his latest publication, Escape from Rome, the failure of empire and the road to prosperity. For anyone who knows Oswald Spengler's theories on the morphology and, uh, of history, it is fascinating to read what Walter Scheidel found out by his rich empirical and highly analytical studies about convergent trends in the historic development of the ancient Chinese and Roman empires and the other civilizations he and his colleagues examined. As far as I can see, there is no direct reference to Oswald Spengler in these studies, but the underlying research questions are definitely Spenglerian, and so are the outcomes. <clears throat> In my understanding, they confirm Spengler's central assumptions, but they also raise many questions for further investigation and discussion. This is especially true for Walter Scheidel's observation that beside the great convergence he observed between Chinese and Roman worlds, there was also a great divergence after the downfall of the ancient empires from which he concludes, I quote him, 
A comparative perspective will be essential in identifying factors that precipitated dramatically different long-term outcomes in East and West. The famous dynastic cycles in China and the resilient polycentrism of the medieval and modern European state system. End of the quote. Obviously, the question formulated here is not only highly interesting for historians or philosophers of history, but also virtually important for all of us as citizens with a sense of responsibility. Dear colleague Scheidel, we, the Oswald Wengler Society, are extremely happy and proud to have you here today. Let us start to discuss the findings of your academic research in respect to Oliver Spengler's theories together. And let us also jointly try to find answers to your questions I quoted here. Answers hopefully offering a positive and constructive outlook, even in times of a widespread feeling that Spengler's diagnosis of downfall and decay was correct. We are Faustians, Faustische Abendländer, aren't we? Du kund Vater volentem, nolentem trahund. Thank you very much.